Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, linear layouts and how you can use them and what they're for and all that fun stuff. So the source code I'm going to use you can find online if you go to github.com slash foamy guy slash linear layout example. Um, and so with that let's go ahead and dive in. You can download that code, get it imported into Eclipse and then you want to open up inside the layout resources layout activity main.xml and this is what you should see so real quick let's just take a look at what we have here we have a blue row that goes all the way across the screen a green row underneath that that goes all the way across the screen a red row that goes under or that's underneath that and goes all the way across the screen then we have a little bit of white space right here then we got a another stripe and in this one we have uh, a blue rectangle and then a re green rectangle and then a red rectangle and those ones are horizontal instead of vertical. So now that you've seen um, how this layout looks, let's go ahead and jump over here um, and just get a good idea of how it's actually put together. So with you can see in this diagram the black dotted line that represents the parent linear layout um, and so it's a vertical one because all of its children are lined up vertically one on top of each other so that's our parent right there is one linear layout set to vertical then our first child is represented by this first orange dotted line right here wrapping around these three um, rectangles that go all the way across the screen that's the first child and that one is also vertical and it has three children a blue one a green one and a red one then we have uh, directly underneath that some white space which is actually made not with its own element but is just a margin on one of the other elements so that's where that white space comes from and then the second child is this other orange dotted line right here and it is a another linear layout and it is set to horizontal it also has three children but because it's horizontal we see that they're lined up one beside another instead of one on top of another like here so um, this tells us some interesting things about linear layouts first of all um, as the name would suggest they are linear um, in one linear layout all your items will be in one single line and it will be either a vertical line like this one here or it will be a horizontal line like this one here. Um, the interesting, an interesting thing you can do with them is you can actually put one linear layout inside of another one. So that's why we have this black line here. It represents the parent linear layout, and then our children are also linear layouts. So we have one linear layout nested inside of uh, another one. So that's how you can achieve both vertical elements and horizontal elements on the same page. You have to use multiple linear layouts to do that. Um, so let's dive into the code for this click over to the code okay so here is the parent linear layout um, and as we saw that one is set to Android orientation equals vertical um, and then there's this match parent match parent for width and height then we can see our first child linear layout right here all of that is the first child linear layout you can see this one also is set to orientation vertical and then we have three views inside here and these three views represent those colored uh, boxes those colored rows so we got a blue row green row red row and this is the blue one this is the green one and this is the red one now with a vertical linear layout it will respect the order that you put them in this XML code so if we were to take the last one here move it up top save that and click back over now you can see we have red blue then green instead of blue green then red um, so it will keep whatever order you give it so let's go ahead and move that back that is our first child linear layout right there it's vertical and it has three children um, now our second child linear layout and this one is a little bit more interesting um, because it instead of uh, just being a plain linear layout it has well first of all it has orientation horizontal and then it also has margin top is 30 dp so that's where we get our white space between these two right here that's the 30 dp of margin top on this other linear the second 
um, linear layout child. So that's where our white space comes from. And then we also see this thing right here, weight sum. Um, so we'll get into that more in just a second, but it is uh, good to notice that weight sum and remember that we set it equal to three. So in this one, we also have three children views. Their first view right there, second view right there, third view right there, and those represent blue block, green block, and red block. So back to the weight thing, you can see in this one, these three blocks right here, they represent each um, an even amount of space of the screen. So all these blocks are the same size and they each represent one third of the width of the screen. Um, and linear layout is a very interesting kind of layout that allows you to make your children occupy some percentage of the screen. Um, so in this case, we're set to one third, which would be 33% each of these. Um, and in order to do that, well, you have to use this thing, this concept right here called weight sum, and this one down here, layout weight. So on our parent linear layout in this case, which is horizontal, we say weight sum equals three. And then on all of our child views, what we do is we say width equals zero DP, and we give it a uh, weight, Android colon layout weight equals one, and we do the same thing for all three of them. So we have zero DP again, zero DP again, and weight one. So what that means is um, this view right here, it has a weight of one, and its parent has a weight sum of three, so it will get one third of the size of its parent, and its parent happens to be width match parent, which means that it's gonna be the full size of the screen. So we, this child right here will get one third of the screen, this child will get one third of the screen, and this child will get one third of the screen. And again, this will keep the order of your children uh, items. So in this one, we have three items. They're in order from blue, then green, then red. And again, uh, it, with a horizontal linear layout, this order goes um, left to right. So you can see again, if we were to take the red one, cut that, paste it up to here, it would retain the order. And now we should see red, then blue, then green. So with horizontal linear layouts, the order goes left to right. And with vertical, it goes top to bottom. So we can go ahead and paste that back down there. Um, and you know, we're using colored blocks here just to kind of show a good example of what you can do with a linear layout, but obviously these same principles could apply to buttons or text views um, or edit text or any Android view, basically. So I'm using colored blocks just to make it easy to see, but this, all these same principles like weight and the linear layouts and the orientations and everything, all of that applies to any view that you would be using in your application, whether it's buttons or texts or anything else. So um, this should give you a good idea of how you can use linear layouts to build more complex layouts. Um, and it, it's good practice if you want practice learning this kind of stuff is to go and look at other applications and then try to code a layout that matches theirs using linear layouts. Um, so that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys learned something about linear layouts and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.